Okay, we're going to learn how to properly roll a poster without creating any creases. So, you've got your craft paper here, and it's been pre-folded to allow for this flap, which will actually help you to roll it properly. Take the poster, move it down into the crease. I like to actually add tissue paper to prevent the surface of the paper from being scratched. Now, this is just kind of a more of a precautionary measure. And that's something that's absolutely critical, but it does help, I think, especially if you have posters with uh, either a gloss or uh, certain types of inks that might be prone to scratching. Now, what you'll do is you'll actually fold this over like, like so, uh, take it, and go big on it. Go big with the initial roll. Okay, you don't want to go too small. And what you'll do is kind of fold it into each other, and then you can start to roll it. And this way, again, the primary reason for doing it this particular way is just to prevent the initial roll from creasing the poster, which happens when some people get a little overzealous about trying to make it too tight. Now, once it's been rolled tight, you can take the poster, open up the end tube here, and if it's been rolled tightly enough, it will fit inside. Now, if in the event that it was too big to fit inside the, the, the tube, what you can do is you can look down inside the tube itself. You can take where it's already been folded at the bottom, and you can start to roll it into itself, which will actually help to create a, a tighter roll. Um, you know, the ideal thing is to get it right on the first go around so it fits like so. And uh, if not, uh, re-roll it um, uh, but, so it does fit on the inside. And that's the uh, tip to uh, rolling a poster properly and making sure that it's uh, safely secured inside the tube.